Welcome back to part 9 of my Master ZR game. In the previous part, we started expanding our now kingdom. Uh, we got two kingdom titles, in fact. Um, going pretty well, the expansion. Of course, we got our conqueror trait, so we are trying to push the limits this uh, this character. Hopefully be able to make the Persian Empire in his lifetime. I, I think that we're going to be able to do it. It's It's been pretty rapid pace expansion. Um... Yeah, not too difficult when you have the Conqueror trait. Um, obviously going to be hoping to do more of the same here. Um, scholars with 10 or more learning. Yeah, no, I don't think we care about that right now. A lot of unique decisions in the area still. Um, yeah, we'll have a look at them whenever they pop up. Uh, so we just got a couple vassals joining us down in this area. Um, we also recently took the capital of the Persian Empire, Isfahan. Isfahan. So we moved our capital there. Uh, we're going to have a look. I think we were looking at this guy right here. He is Shia, so we do have access to a holy war. We're holding our holy war for kingdom, probably to use against the Byzantine em Empire. Uh, they're actually not too strong right now, but I don't think I'm going to go for that just yet. Uh, of course, we have the same religion as the Arabian Empire, so can't use it there. Okay, that guy we still got to choose with. This guy we still got to choose with. We just need him to pass away, basically. Uh, that's a pretty nice war. What else do we have over here? This guy we still have the truce. Apparently not our religion. What are you? Okay, he's also Shia. Uh, we were expanding up in this way too, and then these guys kind of like got cut off from us. The the Byzantines were also expanding in the area. So we're now boarding the Safarids as well. The truce is, the truce is still here. He's kind of on the older side though, so I think he's going to be gone soon, hopefully. Um, so yeah, expanding in this direction just seems like the most sensible thing now. He's actually got a war going on. Okay, he's attacking in the opposite direction. That's pretty good timing for us. Uh, I think this is the most sensible thing for us to be doing. actually kind of even. Rightly guided sons. Uh, we do have some daughters. Uh, maybe it's just time to get them betrothed and get some alliances, just in case we need them. Better to do it before you're at war. Um, so yeah, these guys are a little bit far away and uh, in a war. Maybe someone a little bit closer. 60... Uh, okay, this guy is a hostile religion, uh, otherwise I would consider it. Okay. Not a religion, but that seems decent. What do we think about them anyways? We consider them evil, they consider us hostile. Well can work together regardless. So we've unlocked healthy. One more and then we have whole of body. Uh, just barely past 30 on this character. Uh, we're trying to keep him alive as long as possible obviously. That's going to be the goal here. So let's get this started. Of course the no cost wars. Pretty nice. It's going to be hard going back to uh, paying for wars after this. We do have access to another men at arms. I guess I could consider. Uh, I'm just going to call these guys in. We're not spending our prestige on wars anyway, so who really cares? If they help us, then they help us. Uh, so, what are we going to do here? We have ARs, we have bowmen, we have pikemen, and then we have onagers. So maybe some camel riders. They are unique in the area. Uh, that probably seems like the most sensible thing, I think. I'll just wait until we're out of this war and then build them up. So we've declared war on him. His army was over there fighting whatever the hell he's doing. Um, he's now kind of panicking coming back this way. I don't think he could fight us. Hey, there's our friend. 
Okay, so yeah, let's just go straight for his capital here. Uh, looks like our ally might be out for blood. Don't think you can fight him alone, though. So our heir, who has comely, has gotten callous as well as diligent. Not too bad. Um, not a big callous fan, but it's not horrible either. Yeah, these events just pop up and give you free gold when you're a conqueror. <laughs> it's actually pretty damn nice. Don't mind that one bit. Uh, definitely happy that he got diligent, though. I'm probably just going to play whoever my heir is. I'm, I'm not going to worry about it. I have, like, eight sons or whatever already. That's a little bit excessive. I, I can take celibacy, but I, I just don't see the point. Um, I think... Yeah, okay, so my second son is going to get a duchy. Uh, we're still in harmonious succession, so not a big deal. It doesn't even split your kingdoms up. It's pretty overpowered. Um... Minor penalty to health. We're not trying to do that. Alright, well, let's just do it. We got enough health benefits anyways. Are we trying to stress this guy out? Whatever. How are you doing there? Okay. Let's go and fight. I think it's time. Keep heading down the zealous path. We are declaring holy wars anyways. Okay, they actually got it in time, that's kind of annoying. Promote Persian scriptures. I was going to look at this before, I kind of, um... I think I spent too much gold, so it went away. This might anger your head of faith. So it does cost 500 gold, so we're basically spending everything. <laughs> Persian, Persian. Um, I don't, I don't think this is something you're supposed to do when you're Persian. Just reading it, it seems like something you're supposed to do when you're not Persian, and you've come into Persian land. Uh, I think I'll just pass on that, I don't need to be spending all that gold right now. Hey, our Hindu friends have actually come as well. Helping us out a little bit. <laughs> okay. Let's go and fight these guys. Um, yeah, 95% were basically done anyways. <clears throat> Jeez, it's surprising how much the advantage penalty actually matters now. Uh, there we go. Finish that easy enough, I guess. Usurp this. He's in a title. So we'll just start giving some of these away to locals. Here, you can have this. Oh, we got another gold mercenary higher cost. I don't think we care too much about that, honestly. I just keep taking the gold. It seems like the best thing to be doing. Okay, there's whole body now. Um, so yeah, we don't have anything else, really. Uh... We are in learning, that's why we're here by default, so I think I might just stick here for a little while. You know, we've already gone down a uh, couple clicks of Scholar. We'll be unlocking the tree faster than anything else anyways, so it seems like the most sensible thing to be doing. Uh, might head somewhere else after that. Or we could always grab these too, because we are converting some land. But yeah, I'm just going to stay here for now. This looks like the Arabian Empire is in trouble. Oh wow, they're really in trouble. You're not doing so well there, buddy. 
Uh, found Holy Order. Okay, that's interesting. Do we actually have one already? Holy Orders, none. So I think that's a more sensible use of our 500 gold. Uh, do we care where we're putting this? Maybe in our capital county here. Um, sure, let's do it. Uh, the Mujahideen of Gulpaigan. Cool. Well, they keep giving us more gold anyways, so... We can afford to spend a little bit on that. And we have someone willing to join. Religious exemption you want, though. Uh, what are you? You're... Okay, this is fine. These guys are Sunni as well. They're just a different branch of it, so I'm, I'm okay giving him that. Uh, makes my life easier if I don't have to be going to war. And there, we have access to another kingdom title now. So we might get a few more vassals after that. Okay, this is perfect. Religious exemption. Oh, you're Tengri. Do I just let him have it? Evil. Uh, you know what? Whatever. Welcome on in. Anyone else? You? How do you feel? Imami. Okay, we're hostile with you. These guys are just one county, though, so I don't think they're ever going to be significant enough to cause us problems. Uh... Make it some progress. Some of these guys are resistant, I assume, wars, or what's going on with you? <laughs> Atabeg Kute, the fat. What's your problem? You just really don't like me, hey? So these are all going to be different duchies. No, nope, this is all the same duchy. Oh, that's perfect. Wow, I'm surprised. That's actually huge. Uh, so I might take care of you. What's going on with you? This is the guy that we just declared war on, so he obviously doesn't want to join. What's going on with you? It really seems like you would be... Oh, you're at war. Okay. Other than that, I think he'd be pulling. Um, so anything else in this kingdom here? Maybe. Why does it do that? Uh, so yeah, it's basically just these guys, and then a little bit in here. Uh, did you break off from the Farids, or were you already not a part of it? So he's also in a war. We don't have his to here, though. Yeah, we'll, we'll work our way over there eventually. I, I'm thinking about just declaring war here, since this is um, obviously pretty convenient for us right now. Have we gotten land outside the Empire already? A little bit, a little bit, but that's fine. Anyone that wants to join, I'll probably just take them. I, I don't think it's um, possible for them to cause us issues. I don't think we can get any... Um, what's it called? Any major factions or anything like that? Uh, I could be wrong about that. Duchy of NASA. Okay. I'll give this to you. Even though I don't like you that much. Uh, we got another one. Oh, nice. Okay, perfect. Oh, this is actually going really well. Uh, we might be close to another kingdom title. Usurping this. How much do we actually need? Four of seven. Okay, that's not too far away. Oh, another couple of them. Who are you? Okay. Welcome in. Who are you? Okay. I think that might be enough there. Oh, it's going quite well. Okay, we need to up our tax collector game here. Uh, apparently we need more that can actually do this. I'm just going to start inviting knights on cooldown as well. Uh, we could invite claimants. We need this on cooldown. 946. Okay, so we're four years away. Wow actually going really well. Um, but anyways, looking back at the Persian Empire, or excuse me, the Arabian Empire, um, seize to hear duchy. These are very small wars, unfortunately. Conquer duchy. Uh, a little bit more. Baghdad. This one probably makes the most sense. It's five counties. 
there's no really satisfying war that we can take against them, but I think that that one just makes the most sense for now. He's in debt. His troops have been decimated, so we should be totally fine here. Uh, that's a very significant city, historically, anyways, for us to be going for. Start recruiting these guys just so we have more people in our court that can do the jobs. Okay, that is the final trait of our heir. Uh, I guess we could try to teach him something. Generous, 35%, or gregarious, 25%. Yeah, let's just try it. See if we can give him that fourth trait. That's my boy. Nice. That's actually really good. He was a little on the evil side, but at least we could get him that uh, virtuous trait, generous. Yeah, no complaints really. That, that's uh, not a not a bad combo. You can do a lot worse than that. Uh, we'll get him married right away just to help keep the uh, the family strong. <laughs> not that we're gonna run out of sons or anything like that. Uh, I'll probably just let them all serve as knights if they end up serving as knights naturally. It just um, I have too many to really worry about it. Are those guys outside the kingdom. Kind of felt like I was going to be able to do this. Six out of seven. Are you kidding me? Well, we can find a war to, to fight against them, um, and then we'll be able to take it after. Okay, so this guy's hostile as well. And so are you. Okay, that's why they don't want to join. And we'll worry about it after this war. You just join them. <laughs> nice. Well, better than nothing. I think that's one of those unique things. Yeah, here, this Amiri, Amiran Shahin's host. Just 150 troops. Will be inherited upon succession. Okay, thank you guys. How are we doing here? Another month. I don't think he's even going to be... Oh, <laughs> the, whoever it was passed away. Uh, he wants peace. Now I'm going to say no. Thank you. Oh, fantastic. We got a bunch of valuable hostages here. Um, so he's not going to be able to defend himself, I don't think. He's got another... Oh, he's only, actually only got one other war right now. Okay, perfect. It's actually better if we can fight him. We'll get uh, war score quicker that way. I'll just finish seizing this and see where he goes. Uh, what's your plan? You're just going to kill your troops if you're walking over my land like that. Okay, let's pause and figure out what these guys are doing here. Uh, way up there. He wants an exemption. That's fine. Who are you? You want an exemption. That's fine. We'll take it. The Blessed. That's a decent enough nickname, I guess. We'll take it. How are we doing here? Completely maxed. So, different faith opinion. This might help those bordering us that have different faiths to join us. So I think we just go for that. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to spend a lot of time in here. I might just unlock all three of these. I'm not usually going for Theologian, but um, it might just make sense this game. Got other things to be focusing on anyways. Okay, so, let's fight. It'll probably give us more war score than just sieging one of these down. He's got tiny little armies all over the place here. Okay, so, I've learned that it's telling me what the outcome of the battle is now is just completely useless, it seems like. Uh, and here's our second son, forgiving, wrathful, and just. It's not bad either, wouldn't mind playing him. Predatory rule. Okay, so let's have a look here. Uh, 
Um, let's just finish off the previous one. Oh yeah, I was going to build some uh, camel riders as well. We could do that after this war. Okay, what are you doing there? Uh, okay, yeah, that gave us 50% war score. That's actually really, really great. Um, <laughs> as if this trait wasn't strong enough, they just give you randomly money as well. It's uh, pretty nice. I have a feeling these Conqueror games aren't going to be very common, so I'm going to try to make most of it while I, ha while I have one. Uh, who's doing this? Okay, <laughs> way off in Neverland. Uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to defend that. Damn you. I'm really just looking forward to creating more kingdom titles and then eventually our empire. The duchies don't matter too much for me right now. Getting some money here. As long as they're not giving us war score, we don't care. Get off there. They actually... 12 champions. See, that's closer than I thought it was going to be. That's impressive. Uh, definitely need to be more careful just running into armies. That's for sure. <clears throat> okay, so we siege this down. The war should be done. Yeah, pretty simple. I don't think anyone's going to stand in our way. It's basically just like how fast we can expand, really. Um, these people might be getting sick of us. We do have offensive four minus 15. So yeah, we're going to have to cool off a little bit after this war and let the, let that go down. It's unfortunate that that doesn't go away when you're Conqueror. It did mention something when I got the trade about if I wasn't expanding enough, people were going to like be you know unruly about it. But it seems like they still don't want me to just be perpetually at war. There is Baghdad and the Kingdom of Mesopotamia. Perfect. And we'll take that as well. Um, that's not a bad place to hold, honestly. I, I could just hold on to that instead of this other duchy that I have. What's the other one that I have? Ray? I think that's our original one. Um, so maybe I'll just... Hand that off to my second son. I'll figure out what's going on after that. Uh, neighbors can be vassalized. So I'm assuming these guys are going to be in, in here. Uh, nope, you're someone else. Okay, so I don't want to be giving religious exemption to hostiles, but at this point I'm just trying to expand as rapidly as possible. So we'll, we'll tolerate them. Uh, he's willing to switch, maybe? Let's just see if it goes. Damn you. Okay, so we gotta move these. Uh, apparently we have that over there still. Let's just move them over here. Um, yeah, let's just give that away. Apparently I gave a lot of stuff away. Uh, there we go. How's this going? Okay, so <laughs> it's a bit of a mess. Uh, we can keep converting, I guess. I don't think we're ever going to need to fabricate claims or anything like that. Hopefully. So we're holding one over right now. Uh... <clears throat> Should be fine. Can we just do this? 
managed to main was like a S2. Yeah, we tried that before. It's 17 out of 18. <laughs> We're just one short. It's okay to be one over the limit anyways. No big deal. What did you do? Oh, level of splendor increased. Perfect. Okay, we're almost exalted among men. Um, yeah, fantastic. The Seferids will fall pretty soon. We just need one more county here, and then we'll be able to uh, usurp that kingdom title, and then they should all pretty much join. Uh, I think this will be my next war right here, this Zamid guy. Uh, he's apparently got these three different enclaves that are all in the same duchy, so that's pretty nice. We can just Holy War for duchy that, and they should fall in line. Uh, there is our son, coming of age. So we'll give him some land eventually. Um, I guess I could just give him like one of these counties to hold on to, given that I am one over the limit. Maybe I'll do that. Let's let's find him a wife, though. So he's got comely. Uh, unfortunately, the education wasn't so fantastic, but his traits are really good. Um, what if we could find you, like, a genius wife or an intelligent wife or something like that? Wouldn't mind that at all. Um, beautiful. It's also not too bad. Uh, how about you are the same age? Not fantastic stats. He'll probably marry into uh, other families as well. More marriages, more wives. I'm sure he'll, he'll do his thing if we give him some land. Um, do I want to give it to him right now? Maybe I'll just hold off on that. Anything we need here? Okay, let's give her a job so she sticks around. Um, yeah, we'll give them both jobs. There you guys go. Yeah, it should be fine. Uh, we got tons of sons, so we can start giving them land whenever we expand. Who's boy? What are you? H how do you feel about joining up? Oh, you're actually into it. Oh, there he goes. Okay, perfect. That's a huge amount of land. I don't think it's a lot of counties, but it's uh, geographically a, l a large amount of land. And there we go. So, requires 500 gold to usurp that. Uh, so let's just get that done real quick shouldn't be too long. Hopefully someone will just come along and give me some cash anyways. I keep meaning to uh, create my camel rider dudes, but um, we just have nothing but uh, titles to be creating non-stop here. Uh, this one will be nice, actually. Hopefully we succeed at this event. How's our learning, anyways? 34. Oh yeah, we should easily. Okay, so the wise man trait will help us get through our tree a little bit quicker here. We'll just do that on cooldown. He's pissed at us, but that's fine. We want the experience. We don't care about that. So, you can get married as well. There you go. This is our son that we already gave the duchy to. I'll keep an eye on this. Okay, so it is splitting our kingdoms up at this point. <clears throat> we do have three. Um... I'm not too worried about it. We're going to make an Empire title, I'm pretty sure, on this character. Unless he just randomly dies from an earthquake, which would be so tragic. <laughs> but uh, hopefully those aren't as common as they've seemed in this in this particular game, because I don't think I've ever seen it until that. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone's going to join us off of getting this Kingdom title anyways. Well, we'll at least be able to find out another kingdom title to add to our belt here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that's going to make people more likely to join. Another kingdom title, and who are you? Can't even see you. Ah, perfect, that's exactly who we wanted, so we can us usurp that Seferid title from them. And who are you? I don't like how it defaults to religious exemption. So, 
they consider us righteous. It is a little bit far away, but you know, we're just adding literally anyone that we can, I think, at this point. Um, these guys are in a war, I assume. No, it doesn't look like it. So what's going on with your kingdom title there? Mmm, okay, so they consider our faith hostile. What religion are you? Interesting. Okay, so we're not going to be able to usurp it from them, but we can uh, holy war them at least. Um, yeah, this little guy in here we know we can holy war. This guy's in a war, otherwise he might just join us, and if not, we can holy war him. Um, he might join up. Might have to do some holy wars eventually in this area. We're going to be focusing more on this side, I think, because uh, we just want to finish off whatever we need to make our empire title. Speaking of which, how close are we? 84 out of 100 pretty damn good. We're actually getting close. Um, yeah, I think once we fill in the gaps here, and maybe do one or two more wars in this direction, we're pretty much going to be good, and then we're not going to have to worry about our land splitting up. <laughs> Look at this. One kingdom title, and then uh, four to our, our primary heir. Um, and you get this at the very start of the game. You just have to move your succession up to Harmonious. It's uh, pretty ridiculous, honestly. Uh, makes, makes succession very easy, though, so I, I can't complain. Um, I'm going to be continuing this on in the next part, though, hopefully be able to create our empire title then. Um, if you enjoyed this, please do subscribe and leave me a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one.